after studying the videos on the theory and the concepts of the shear strength of the soil, in this video you will be learning how to solve problems on the said topic. This video consists of a quick recap of all the formulae and the plots involved in the laboratory test of the shear strength of the soil. And I'll be ending this video by solving a problem on vein shear test. Henceforth, we'll be dealing with few parameters which you must have studied before in the previous videos. The most important ones are the principal planes and the stresses sigma 1 and sigma 3. The normal stress sigma, the shear stress tau, the angle of internal friction phi, the cohesion C, the angle of failure plane alpha. Also, the three diagrams are displayed here. The first one is for C and phi soil, where you can see a failure plane given by Mohr's coulomb S equals to C plus sigma tan phi. In the second figure, you might see that there is no cohesion that means it is a frictional soil or sandy soil and in the third one as you can see the phi is missing that means it's a purely cohesive soil so for three different types of soil you may find three different Morse circles Below given are various formulae required for solving the problems. You might pause this video and make a note of it. In all, you will be learning four tests to determine the shear strength of the soil in the lab. Namely, direct shear test, triaxial compression test, unconfined compression test and vein shear test. The most commonly used is direct shear test and triaxial test. In this slide, you can see a bunch of formulae involved in direct shear test. In figure A, you can see a typical stress condition in the shear box during the test. The most important thing to understand here is figure B. I hope you have studied this in the theory part so I won't take much time and I'll move on to the next as you know triaxial compression test is a, a, a kind of complicated test here we can measure pore water pressure hence the concept of effective stress comes into the picture here we can find out the total stress parameters as well as the effective stress parameters Second important thing here is the deviator pressure or the deviator stress which will be helpful for you while understanding the problems. The deviator stress is delta sigma. The chamber pressure or the stress applied inside the cell is sigma 3. And when you add these two you will get sigma 1 the major principal stress. And the last important thing which is helpful while solving the problems is this strength envelope. Basically in this test we do a series of tests for increasing pressures of sigma 3. And what we get at the end is a series of more circles and you join. Then tangentially you will get a strength envelope. And from there you can get the value C and phi. Also, the same formulas are applied here. The first thing which should come to your mind when you are solving the problems on unconfined compression test 
or UCS test is that the value of sigma 3 is 0. So as you can see in the figures, the more circle is starting from the origin. Now here you can see two figures. The first is for C5 soil and the second is for pure clay soil. Remember this test can't be done for sandy soils. In the second figure you can see the value of phi is 0. So we'll get the alpha as 45 degrees. So in some problems they may not give the type of soil. They will only give that the alpha is 45. So it means that it is a pure clay soil and phi is 0. In most of the problems the angle alpha is given just like in case A. So the figure you should remember and accordingly you can solve the problems. Now if you go back to the basic problems you can see that the sigma 3 term has been deleted so the formula is shortened whereas the same concepts are applied here. Wayne shear test is most probably the simplest test to perform in the lab. This is a test done only for clay soil not for sandy soil. Hence, you can see no friction or phi term in the formula is here. So, shear strength is directly equal to the cohesion of the soil and is given by the formula where T is torque, T is the diameter of vein and H is the height of the vein. Sometimes they may also ask you to find out the sensitivity of the soil. So, the form formula is the ratio of cohesion in undisturbed to the cohesion in disturbed or remolded condition. So as you can see the formula C is directly proportional to the T. So to find out the sensitivity you may not require to find the cohesion. So just by knowing the values of T you can find out the. Here is a problem on main shear test. You can read the question where you can find that the given data is diameter 7.2 centimeters and height is 10.8 centimeters. To keep it in a common unit format, we are converting this into meters. Also the torque is given 45 Newton meters. We are asked to find the shear strength of the clay and also the additional data is given for remolded soil which is torque 15 Newton meter. Hence, we are also need to find the sensitivity of soil. So, first writing down the formulae, we have formula for shear strength and also for sensitivity. So, it's pretty easy question as all the data is given in the question in a straightforward manner. So, directly if you put the values in the equations, you will get the shear strength as 41,865 Newton per meter square. So, to keep it in a very user friendly format, we'll use KPA. So, dividing it by 1000, we'll get 41 KPA. So, as we discussed, sensitivity can be directly found out by the ratio of torque undisturbed to torque remolded. So, 45 by 15, we'll get 3. So with this we finish the first video. In the coming videos we will solve problems based on direct shear test, triaxial test and unconfined compression.